Hey mums. Um, so a uh, quick tip from um, uh, a mum and baby that I've seen this week. So the baby's doing very well, <coughs> colic um, getting a lot better, and in fact nearly settled down. But the mum has said that the two days before she came in, baby really kicked off and had a couple of days of being really, really windy. So um, there's a few things that come straight into my mind, but when the baby's going along nicely, then you have like a bad spike of wind. Firstly, oh, and the mum's breastfeeding by the way. So firstly, was that bad spike? Was that um, over a, a weekend? So um, if it's over the weekend, did the mum eat some different foods over the weekend, like a curry or a Thai, something spicy, like a different food, some food changes because it's the weekend and you have a treat. Anyway, the mum hadn't. She basically didn't even know what day of the week it was, you know, coming out of lockdown. So it had been actually very similar. And then she has said that what she thought was, it was the positioning of the baby while she was feeding. So she's found a nicer um, position with the baby more upright. Um, however, it was working, but it didn't quite seem to be the ticket kind of thing. Um, and the baby was still being a bit grumpy and it worked once, but not again and all this kind of stuff. But I liked the idea um, of finding this nicer position of being upright for the baby to feed. However, at night it was tricky because she wanted to actually lay down and feed. So we kind of had first of all this position, which sounded like a really good idea. Um, and then we got the weekend if your foods have changed, but also it can just be any time. So if you're breastfeeding, the foods that you eat will pass through to your baby and can make the windy. So if you're having, if the baby's going along quite nicely, then you have a spike of bad wind or reflux or something kicks off, then do consider what you've eaten and what might have changed. So check that out. So that's our second one. The other one that can be quite variable, so the baby's good, but then you have a, a bad bout of wind or a bad feed, then consider the stress that you're under as a mum when you feed your baby. And in lockdown, I went into a lot in this, and it's absolutely amazing that your stress as the mum plays such a role on how your baby is. When your baby's more stressed, they don't feed well. As we know in adults, stress gives tummy problems, reflux, it's really common, it shuts the, the tummy down. So this fight or flight side, this stressy side, it shuts the tummy down it won't digest as well and you get tummy pain or reflux or maybe with a baby some more colic and wind because they haven't digested the milk properly so also consider your feeding environment you know did you have to feed the baby in a slightly unusual situation were you in a rush did you feel stressed you were running late you had to get a feed in you know the baby feels that you're a bit tense a bit uptight um, and then maybe and then they pick that up off of you then they don't get the good feed and you that you may understand this that sometimes at night babies are great when they're really chilled out really relaxed you get a great feed in and then they're a bit harder in the day so you might be out you might be meeting some friends and then you find yourself that you have to breastfeed out you know in a coffee shop or somewhere and you're a bit uncomfortable and just all that kind of environmental type stress stuff so this mum went away with three um, things to keep an eye on so position and um, I'd love to hear if you have a, a you know a great position where your baby doesn't take air down and the digestion is great also the foods and then the kind of stressy environment that the mum might be in when she was feeding okay so I hope this helps this is advice on if your baby is colic is pretty good and you have a bit of a sort of spike and then being bad or windy Okay, um, leave some comments below if you've got any questions, um, direct message me, no problem, and I can help you out. Thanks.